Hi guys. So, um, so I've made my incense, which you have seen earlier. So this is it. This is how it looks like. And this will last me for about a month. And you can see it's really powdery and there's some herbs inside and woods and you know it's really um, all natural actually <laughs> and I've labeled it money incense so this is a very good um, um, incense formula you can use for any um, spell working if you need money or if you've got debts or you can use it for um, candle magic as well um, I like to use incense with candle magic um, so after you've done your incense, you've made your incense, always empower them. So I've already empowered my incense here and I've dedicated this incense to be used for for assisting me in, um, in finance actually. So I'm going to show you how to burn them. So I've added saltpeter which you've seen earlier. If um, if you don't have saltpeter and, and or if you're just not in, um, interested in using saltpeter in your in your um, incense, you can just use it uh, in a uh, put it on a regular charcoal block and just let it burn. And um, I don't really fancy using charcoal blocks because um, it's just kind of messy for me. So I'm going to show you how I. Um, how I burn this because um, like I said there's already salt pita inside so I'm going to show you how to burn them and I'm just going to show you this is like a little terracotta dish I would highly advise burning powdered incense something like this on a brass incense burner or a cauldron I believe some of um, some of you guys are weakens and you have cauldrons. Uh, unfortunately, I don't have one because we don't sell them sell those here in my country. So, cheers. So I have to make do with what I have. So this is like this is actually an ashtray. <laughs> so I just um, yeah, it's actually an ashtray, but it's actually terracotta, so it's actually natural. It's um, it's from the earth, so uh, it's actually really, really good. So I'm going to show you how I burn it. So I'm just going to use really, really little because I don't want to waste. So I'm just going to use like just a bit of it over here and show you how I burn them. burning my incense on an ash tree. Can you believe it? Okay. Light it all up. Oh no, it's really windy. I didn't close my window. Okay. And you can see it's already um, smoldering. And that's it. That's about it, you guys. You see, it's beautiful. And just leave it as it is. Don't um, touch it. Don't disturb it. Don't uh, flicker around with the incense. And, you know, just leave it. It will burn all the way um, because of the salt, Peter. So you don't need to worry. Um, don't need to worry. And it will burn all the way through. And it's beautiful. You look at this. And the smell is awesome. So this is a very simple method to use. And once it's totally burnt all the way, it would actually turn black. And yeah, that's about it you guys simple, easy, um, and you really save a lot of money making your own incense. Um, okay, um, as you can see, it's kind of smoldering too much, there's too much of smoke. If that happens, it means that you've added too much of salt pita, and I think I've added a way, a bit too much of salt pita, but it doesn't matter. If you've added a, too much of salt pita, just... Um, um, add add more uh, herb or powder or whatever, and to just get everything all um, leveled up or equaled up. 
And yep, so that's about it you guys, so it smells really wonderful. So um leave any comments if you have any um any other tips for me. I'm kinda in um I'm actually learning how to how to make um magical incense and herbs and stuff like this so I would really love if you guys could you know give me more suggestions and um, any advice recommendations and you know I would love to learn more about stuff like this and show you what I've learned and um, yeah don't forget to rate my video and thanks for watching everybody so see you soon bye